Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with On Point Politics and today we're going to be looking at the newest New York Times slash Siena College poll and seeing what the state margins would be. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And so we see here, according to interactive polls, they basically plugged in all of the margins. We see Donald Trump is up by six points in a head-to-head -head matchup here, which is very, very fascinating. We see different margins here, which are really fascinating. Biden leads in the suburbs by one point. Trump's up with men by a lot. Biden's up with... Uh, women voters by about eight points there. Trump is up with Midwestern voters, with Northeastern voters. Biden's only up by four points with them. And in, South, in the South, Trump is up basically 20 points. And in the West, Biden is only up by seven. Uh, white college, Biden's up by 14. White no college, Trump is up by almost 40 points there, essentially. And we see Trump keeps about 97% of his voters, whereas Biden is only keeping 87% of his electorate and people who did not vote are splitting for Trump like 50 to 30 essentially. So that's pretty interesting uh, to see that there. And white voters are breaking for Trump by a decent amount. So are African Americans and Hispanics. Trump's actually up by one. But what we do is we basically go here and we model this out based on the likely voter screen and the registered voter screen. And what we do here is we basically look at the 2020 sample because they actually pull back to 2020. So they ask their voters, okay, how did you vote in 2020? So we have these margins. We adjust it from the exit polls back in 2020. We apply the adjusted error. And then that gives gives us our electoral college margins for these demographics and then we average out the likely voter and registered voter screen to get the final margins on the right so biden's winning 18 to 29 year olds by four 30 to 44 donald trump wins those by 14 45 to 64 by 4.65 plus by 12 college voters break for trump by two while trump actually maintains his non-college support well actually no he increases his non-college margin by five Men, he goes up to 13 points. Women goes down to just Biden plus six. Whites plus 21. African Americans plus 52 for Biden. Hispanics plus five for Biden. And other voters is plus 19 for Trump. So essentially, when you model out the age, the education, the gender map, and you basically model out the uh, demographic for uh, the race map, when you do all of that, you basically get the final electoral college margins, and we're going to be looking at all of those here. So the safe Republican states are Utah, Idaho, a lot of the Great Plains states, as you can see here. That includes Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, a lot of the Appalachian states as well as well as main second congressional district alaska at 20.2 percent for donald trump we also see the state of south carolina at 21.9 percentage points for the former president here and we also see states like iowa at plus 17 for trump again this very this pretty much matches the plus 18 poll from the very accurate and seltzer poll so that is also very interesting to know as well now the state of ohio comes in at 17.7 points for trump Florida comes in at 13 points for Donald Trump. Texas comes in at 17 points. So we have Trump at 189 safe electoral college votes. As was for Biden, we have plus 18 in the state of California. We got plus 19 in the state of Hawaii for Biden. We also have in Vermont plus 26 points. Massachusetts plus 23 for Biden. We have Maryland plus 29. And in D.C., it's about plus 73 for Joe Biden, bringing him to 85 safe electoral college votes. For the likely Republican states, we have the state of Wisconsin at 8.9 percentage points for Donald Trump, the state of Michigan 6.8 percentage points for Donald Trump, and the state of Pennsylvania at 8.8 percent for Donald Trump. All of these states have voted together since the last couple cycles, ever since the 1990s. All three of those states, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, have actually all voted together in every single presidential election, and I would expect them to do the same in 2024. We also see Nebraska second is a pretty big victory for the former president. The state of North Carolina is at 12 points for Donald Trump right now. Georgia at just 10.8 percentage points for the former president. We see Florida at 13.7 percentage points for Donald Trump. The state of Arizona at 10 points for Donald Trump 
in this model and we see the state of nevada at just 7.9 percentage points which i think nevada is going to be a bigger margin than arizona a bigger margin than michigan because of the large hispanic shift in the state so that definitely differs from our projection but that's what we're looking at right now based on this model state of washington comes in at 9.2 percent for biden state of oregon comes in at 6.3 percentage points for joe biden the state of illinois at 6.3 percentage points for the incumbent president, the state of New York at 12 points for the incumbent president. The state of Maine, the first congressional district, comes in at a likely margin. Connecticut is a 9.7 percentage point victory. Rhode Island comes in at 10.4 percentage points for Joe Biden. We see the state of Delaware at 8.7 percentage points for Biden as well, bringing Biden to 167 electoral college votes. We see the state of Minnesota at 2.7 percentage points for Donald Trump there. We see the state of New Hampshire at 2.1 percentage points for Donald Trump. And the state of New Jersey comes in at just 4.8 percentage points for Joe Biden in this electoral college scenario with Colorado being a 2.4 percentage point victory as of right now and all of the tilt states on the map include new mexico at 0.5 percentage points for donald trump the state of virginia at 0.9 percentage points for donald trump and the state of maine at large which comes in just barely for biden at 0.3 percentage points for the incumbent president and that is it for this video, guys. Donald Trump goes out there and wins 345 Electoral College votes to Biden's 193 Electoral College votes. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.